everyone and welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is going to be um an icy blue and a dark icy blue is what i'm going to say um as you can tell i have my right side of my face already did um this side isn't done yet um this is what the look looks like it looks like that it's like the icy blue in the inner center and like a dark icy blue on the outer corner um so let's get started. Um, the palette that I'm going to use um, is my icing palette that I got for Christmas. Yet again, I'm like I'm obsessed with this palette for some reason because of the bright colors and it looks really, really good. So the we're going to use this blue right here, and then we're going to use this pretty, pretty icy blue here. It's it's really, really pretty like rub some of my finger it's really 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 pretty and then this blue this blue i think it's almost like the same blue just this one has like a little bit more shimmer shimmer to it see like it looks almost like the same but i think this one this one has more of a shimmery like color like more shimmer to it than this one does so let's get started first you want to take your makeup brush eyeshadow brush and you're going to get just a little bit onto the brush tap off the excess here and you want to start in the inner corner and work your way out onto the lid. Just sweep it across. And you want to go maybe midway of your eyelid. Now get a little bit, try to get as close to your lash line as you can. Load your brush up again. Tap off the excess. Um, I always, I always do my eyeshadow before I do my foundation and my concealer just because of the fallout from the eyeshadow. So I always do eyeshadow first and then do everything else after. That actually looks So it should look something like that. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more. Just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Because it looks like it's like not as bright as this one is. So I'm just going to add just a little bit more. that now you want to take 
another eyeshadow brush. Like sweep this outward. And when you move it, it'll look like that. So get a little bit more on your brush. You might not need the card after this. Because it's kind of already pinpoint of where the eyeshadow is going to go. So I am just going to... Start where I stopped at. And just pat it onto your lid. All the way into the crease. I'm gonna pat this in. Get as close as you can to your eye, to your lash line. And pat it all the way back up. So it looks something like that. Now if you want to view now with me, I feel like the first blue is not showing up like how it is on this eye. And I have no clue to why that is. So I'm just gonna take just a little bit more. A little bit more. I don't know if it's the brush because I did use another kind. Of, this is the this isn't the brush that I used when I applied this. Okay, now it looks a little bit okay. So after you get done with that. You are going to want to take um, a makeup wipe and wipe off all the excess. I'm out of makeup wipes yet again, so I'm going to use um, a baby wipe. Clean that up like that. So, next thing you want, the black is black, and I'm going to take this brush. This is the brush that comes with it. It's actually longer than this, but I actually broke the tip of it off, so this is what I'm going to use. Get some onto your brush. You guys can see like this Then go into the inner corner with it, all the way into the inner corner, work it all the way back out. Like that. <laughs> and 
Now, next thing you want to do is take, you can either use liquid or you can use cream. This is cream, so I'm just going to take a little bit more of this and line my lash line with it. What you want to do is look on this is the foundation and the foundation that I use Cricut okay the foundation that I use is CoverGirl sensitive skin well uh -oh. like that slash foundation brush and then once I I'm going to um, blend it in so I'm just gonna take it like this that and then I'm gonna still make up on my cupid bow. Clean that up real quick. Okay. So now just blend away. Get all the way up under your waterline. All the way up under there. I do crisscross back and forth, like crisscross like this and down like that. So that way you can't see um, the blending. So you can't, not blend, so you can't see the blending. So you can't see the, um, so you can't see, what's the word I'm looking for? I cannot believe I just went blank like this. The streaks so you can't see the streaks in the brush I just go back and forth crisscross like that so you can't see it like that and then a bit more I'm gonna take this all up to my forehead come up like that come down like that now a lot of people ask me is it hard for me to wear I want to say foundation and stuff because this side of my head is shaved and you can actually sometimes if I don't if I don't really blend it in as well you can actually see like it'll be like I'll show you of what I'm talking about so I'm not going to really do it but I'm going to show you what exactly what I'm talking about so you guys can see if I don't do it so I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about so you guys going to be like oh my god she's crazy she don't know what she's talking about so I'm going to show you guys. Okay, now you see how you can see the streaks. So you can't see the streaks in the brush. I just go back and forth, crisscross like that. So you can't see it like that. And then a bit more. I'm going to take this all up to my forehead. Come up like that, come down like that. Now a lot of people ask me, is it hard for me to wear I want to say foundation and stuff because this side of my head is shaved and you can actually sometimes if I don't if I don't really blend it in as well you can actually see like it'll be like I'll show you of what I'm talking about so I'm not going to really do it but I'm going to show you what exactly what I'm talking about so you guys can see if I don't do it so I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about so you guys going to be like oh my god she's crazy she don't know what she's talking about so I'm going to show you guys. Okay, now you see how you can see the blending line of my of where the where I put the foundation at. That's what a lot of people ask me about like do I ever worry about it? and I said no, I really don't cuz only thing I do I just come back down like this and sweep it out a little bit. Or I sometimes take my finger and just try to blend it in forward like that so you can't really see it. But no, it's not hard with me having half of a head shaved as far as wearing makeup. <laughs> okay, so. You got all of that done. Make sure you get your jawline real good down to your neckline. Like that. Now I'm going to take... Ooh, that was a lot of foundation I put on the brush. Um, now I'm going to take my concealer, my True Bland Cover Girl Concealer. 
Um, I'm number five and I'm just going to take this and I put some around my nose, under my eye, the corners of my mouth, right in here. And I'm going to add some, I know you guys could tell like I have a, um, I have like a white spot up here. You can't see it on this side, but you can see it on this side because it's not concealed in. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and blend it right in here like that. Now I'm going to take my concealer brush. Uh oh. Okay. And I am going to blend it out. Especially around my nose and my kids around here. I'm going to blend it out like that. blend it out with my finger and do the same under your lash line I'm going to take my powder cover girl yet again um, it's the clean collection sensitive skin powder um, this color is 265 and I'm going to get my powder brush Like this load my brush up real good and go across like that go all the way down to my jawline go all the way down like that across here there like that come down my nose make sure I get up under up under my eye under my waterline real good and I'm actually going to go back over on this side a little bit like that there so the looks look like this it looks really pretty like this like now for my eyebrows I just um, I filled them in um, with a little bit of black eyeshadow so I filled them in with now for the color on your lower I just mix the silver silver wow I mix the icy blue and the two dark blues I start from the inner corner or the outer corner and I sweep it in like that and then I come in sweep it try to get as close as you can to the waterline like that there like that for mascara, I am using Covers CoverGirl Last Lash Blast is what I'm using. Um, this is not waterproof mascara, so if you want to use waterproof, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, this is what the brush looks like, like that. And you're going to do your eyelashes. Make sure you get all the lashes on the outer corners. And then go all the way in. Make sure you get all the lashes in the inner corner. I really like this mascara like it really gives you that volume to it 
Because my eyelashes is really not thick. They're really, really, like, thin. And this mascara, like, fills them and make them really, really, like, dark. They look almost, I want to say, like, in the mirror, they look real, like, doll-like. Cause sometimes I add false eyelashes sometimes it all depends on um, what the look is or um, what I'm doing that day I normally add you know false eyelashes so that way I have um so my eyelashes look more thick and um if you go all the way in get all the little corners like that now for lips, I have chapstick on. I actually have the EOS, the Evolution of Smoothness. Looks like this, little ball like that. And I'm just gonna apply some on. Like that. And then I'm going to <clears throat> Then I'm going to add just a little bit of lip gloss, just a little. It's kind of like, it's like a peachy color. It looks like more of a new lip gloss is what it looks like. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry guys, I think I'm coming down with a cold. I really don't. I honestly am. If you guys, when I really started doing my tutorials and when I started doing it more, you guys will realize that I don't. I really do not like lipstick like that. I'm more into like the lip glosses and everything than I am with lipstick. So, here's what the looks look like, the finished look. So, it's like this. My eyebrows is actually like well overdone for waxing, but I'm trying to get them done. So this is what the looks looks like, like this. Like that. And pretty lips, get your hair, fix your hair, be all ready to go, pretty, like an ice princess, kind of like, like that. So, that was today's tutorial, and I hope you guys liked it, and I hope to see you guys soon. Please subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter, SkinnyMini89. Bye!